Hi, Karma. Lawrence here, finally coming through with a video uh, for you, as promised, what, three months ago? <laughs> um, so again, the objective here is to just uh, sort of uh, refresh on some of the poses that we covered while we were in New Delhi. And um, just, just, a, just a handful of poses to help get you started with a regular routine. Um, and then we can build on this uh, over time. Okay? So um, I think uh, an important prop uh, for this beginning, the seated uh, asana would be a bolster, like so. Um, if you don't have a bolster, then maybe a stack of blankets. Uh, yoga blocks also come in handy too to sit on. And the whole idea here in the seated pose is to um, basically lift, lift up the pelvis so that the hips have a chance to open up. Um, you know, uh, especially uh, if we if we have tight hips, which I had uh, when I started the yoga practice, and um, so it's really helpful in um, allowing the hips to open as well as uh, facilitate or inspire a, a taller spine without doing a whole lot of work. So we'll just start here, just to find our breath, um, and so the hands are resting on the tops of the thighs and the knees. You can keep the palms up or down. All right, feel the shoulders broadening naturally, uh, the legs also feeling heavy, and, and feeling the connection that you have uh, with the sit bones uh, against the prop uh, or your mat. And just taking the steady gaze, the soft gaze straight ahead, right? moistening the lips, and then gently pressing them together and uh, breathing uh, through the nose. Right? And we're consciously breathing, we're breathing with, uh, with intention. Right? Being mindful of each inhale and exhale that we draw. So just take about five breaths, finding a nice balance between the inhales and the exhales. And just uh, allowing yourself to be that much more present now through the breath. <clears throat> bringing a sense of ease and openness and being receptive to uh, whatever comes our way. All right. So gently um, bring the soft gaze back open the eyes and um, we'll begin to move a little bit more um, with some cat and cow. So go ahead and put the prop aside. Get down onto your hands and knees and I'll go ahead and give you a side perspective of what we're doing here with cat and cow. So we first start in tabletop and the hands right, are positioned right underneath the shoulders or the wrists anyways, right underneath the shoulders. The middle fingers are pointing straight ahead. You get a little bit of space between the fingers. Take a look at your knees, see that they're right underneath your uh, skeletal hips, your inner hips. All right. Take your gaze straight down so the top of your head is pointing straight ahead. And, um, and then just gently engage your abdominal area here, just subtly. All right. Come back to your breath. Inhaling and exhaling. And then as you uh, experience your next exhale, round your back, so you're pressing the hands into the earth, you're protracting the shoulders, and sort of scooping or tucking the pelvis, drawing the chin towards the chest. As you inhale, let the belly come down, begin to take the gaze forward, and feel the pelvis now tilting. And then follow the next exhale right back to your cat pose. Follow the inhale to your cow pose. And then just flow a few more breaths. In same fashion, rounding and opening the spine.
Beautiful. Now let's come back to that tabletop, that sort of neutral position of the spine. And we'll come down into child's pose. Now, this one feels really good for the lower back. So what we do is we bring the big toes together. You can keep the knees where they are, or if you want to sort of invite a little bit more opening to the hips, you can take the knees out as wide as you want. Okay. And then gently, uh, slowly begin to walk the arms uh, forward and let the hips go back so that they're making their way towards the uh, towards the heels there. And if they can't quite make it all the way, that's okay. Okay. Um, and, and just make sure to listen to your body. Make sure that there's no pain involved here. And just find more length through the spine, through the arms. Okay. Taking a few more breaths here. And just letting the breath sort of create the path so you find more space, more length. Beautiful. Now with your next inhale, let's go ahead and make our way back up to tabletop. Okay. And, um, and let's make our way to dog now, downward dog. Okay. So tuck your toes. Okay. Press those hands into the earth. All right. And then with your next, uh, let's use our exhale to make our way up there. So we'll now press the uh, balls of the feet into the earth as well. And then slowly take the hips back and up and just gradually opening up the legs to whatever degree they can open feeling the hips go up and back just a bit more and that same sort of feeling that we had in child's pose bring it here with with your downward dog so the hips are going back and up the ears are right in between the upper arms right. and shifting more of the weight onto the legs right. so letting the heels make their way down towards the mat. If the heels are touching the mat pretty easily, then you may want to step the feet back just a little bit more so that they actually hover and they give you a little bit more room to find more length through the arms and through the spine. Just take one more breath here. Beautiful. Now gently start walking the feet, stepping the feet towards the hands and making your way to a forward fold. Now make sure you're bending the knees, right? You've got really tight hamstrings, right? You want to make sure and bend the knees and then just allow your torso to rest on the tops of your legs and let the arms hang freely. Right? And feel the uh, more compassion, compassionate uh, lengthening of the lower back here and the backs of the legs. And then through the next series of breaths, you know, you may be able to take uh, the hips up just a little bit higher and feel uh, the backs of the legs lengthen a little bit more. Just take another couple breaths here. Let the head be heavy. Take your gaze behind you, if possible. All right. And then bring your hands to your hips. And wait, take the elbows up towards the sky. All right. And keep those knees bent. And then slowly inhale your way up to standing. All right. Come all the way up. Engaging your uh, abdominal area as you come up so as to protect your back, your lower back. Beautiful. And then let's just make our way to mountain pose. All right, so let's find that central axis here, drawing the rib cage, the navel into the spine, and um, feeling a neutral pelvis, okay, not too much of a tuck, not too much of a tilt. And maybe engaging the legs a little bit, wrapping the quadriceps and the hamstrings around your femurs. And um, another way to inspire that is to actually feel the knees uh, going towards the, uh, the, the wall behind you. Okay. The gaze is straight ahead. The palms are facing forward. And just take a few more breaths here. And bring a sense of tallness. And notice what happens as you lift all 10 toes. Okay. There may be a subtle shift of the entire uh, body back just a little bit, a little bit finding the true, true central axes. Um, and then just very gently let the toes come back down without disrupting that nice vertical line through the body. Take one more breath there. Beautiful. 
beautiful. All right, from here, let's make our way to Utkatasana, the chair pose, the fierce pose. This is gonna liven it up a little bit more, maybe create a little bit more heat, all right, um, as you experience the pose. So let's do this. Let's bend the knees, all right, to whatever degree you can bend them, keeping the arms at your sides, all right, engaging that inner core once again, coming a little bit forward with the heart, and then with your inhale, sweep those arms forward and up so as to align with your spine, all right? Palms can face each other. The arms can be as wide as you want them so as not to stress the shoulders out. So ideally, you want to be here, right? But if that's offering too much stress to the shoulders and the upper back, just take the arms out wide and feel this open up here. And take a few more breaths. Beautiful. When you've had enough, go ahead and get tall once again. Reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Nice. Feeling the earth and the sky at the same time. And then as you exhale, bring the arms all the way back down along the sides of the body. Okay. All right. So let's show you one more building block um, so that we can flow through a, an actual sun salutation. All right. And this one is, uh, is Cobra. So we're gonna get back down onto our mats, all right? And so we'll do that by inhaling the arms up, okay. exhaling a forward fold, coming down with your hands, bending the knees as much as you need to to do that, and then stepping your feet back to find this sort of high plank, Pankasana, okay? And then exhale the knees down, all right, then the chest and the chin. Keep those elbows close to the body. Don't let the elbows flare out here because this is going to uh, make for a vulnerable shoulder, all right, to uh, vulnerable to injury. So you want to keep the elbows closer to the midline as you bring the chest down and the chin down. All right. And then slowly make your way forward onto your belly so that your hands are right underneath the shoulders, the, the uh, middle fingers pointing straight ahead. Untuck the toes. All right, root the legs, root the toes, root the hips, and then inhale, gently press the hands into the earth as you lengthen forward, and then just lift the chest just enough, all right, to feel uh, your upper spine opening up a little bit more with a little bit of work. You're going to feel this through the inner core and through that lower back, and then you're going to exhale back down. We'll do that two more times following the breath. Okay, inhale. Gently press the hands into the earth, create a little traction, and then come up with the hearts. And then exhale back down. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale, lengthen, and rise. And slowly exhale back down. Good. All right, bring your big toes together. And then make your way back to that child's pose once again. Let's give, give a little bit of love to the lower back. We'll take the hips back, keep the arms forward, and take a few breaths here. Okay. And then we'll inhale back up to tabletop. And we'll tuck the toes. And then follow the next breath back to your downward dog. And then we'll step those feet forward towards the space in between the hands. All right. You can bring your hands to your hips and then slowly make your way all the way, all the way back up. Okay. All right. So let's try a Surya Namaskar A. And, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit in the screen here, but I'm going to give it a good shot. So I'll get up here as far as I can. All right. So we start here in mountain pose. We'll go real slow. And we're going to follow our breath. All right. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your heart. So your spine's about parallel with the earth, good. And then exhale, fold over once again. 
planting the hands into the mat, and then stepping both legs back to a high plank. Take another breath here. Good, then exhale the knees down, the chest down, and the chin down. And then follow your inhale to cobra. So coming through the arms, untucking the toes, lifting the heart to that cobra pose. Beautiful, then coming back. And just go to child's pose for one breath. And then with your next inhale, make your way back to downward dog. Okay. And we'll pause here for three breaths. Beautiful. And then with your next inhale, you'll come up onto the balls of your feet. So you'll lift your heels, bend your knees a little bit like a crouching tiger. Take your gaze to that space in between the hands. And then once again, just walk your feet carefully. Step them forward right in between your hands. Good. Bend your knees, take your hands to your hips, and then slowly make your way all the way back up to standing. And exhale the arms along the sides of the body. Now, during the, uh, during the forward fold, right, I'm giving you the option to put your hands here before coming up. If you feel <clears throat> that the back is strong enough and the legs are strong enough, you can actually come up with the arms forward and up. But you've got to be very, very uh, aware and mindful of how the back feels when you do that. All right. So really important to engage the abdominal area as you, as you come up there. All right. So that was a Surya Namaskar A, Sun Salutation A. Um, so have fun practicing that. That's a nice flow to get the breath, uh, the breath going um, and um, sort of uh, start out your day with maybe a few, maybe three to five uh, of those. Um, it'd be really, really nice. All right. So let's come down um, back uh, for a seated pose. We'll just do a couple more. All right. This one's called Dandasana. And this helps um, to actually uh, bring a little bit more uh, inner core work here and finding a proper way to, um, um, to sit, really, and to work on a nice uh, tall posture. Now, if the hips are really tight, legs are really tight, uh, one suggestion I have here is to sit um, on a stack of blankets. And I think we talked about this in New Delhi. Just sort of lift the hips up a little bit to allow, all right, to allow once again you to fold forward like so. So, um, yeah, so I don't have the blanket here with me, uh, unfortunately. I don't, <laughs> someone borrowed my blankets, uh, so I'm not able to use that here. But what we'll do is, um, start here okay and let the hands be at the sides of the hips with the elbows back all right take the gaze forward and the hands are just resting here they're not actually pressing into the mat they're just resting the gaze is um looking out just beyond the toes now let me let me scoot back a little bit here so you can actually see my my toes all right so the feet are, are flexed a little bit, gently, and um, to inspire, right, a little bit more tallness here, we're going to do a couple of things. First of all, we're going to go ahead and walk the heels, sort of send the heels forward and bringing the toes back and letting the heels root there, okay? And then keeping the heels where they are, sort of send the balls of the feet forward a little bit. You'll notice how that sort of helps, right, bring a little bit more, uh, more tallness the spine. So once you've got that working for you, um, continue to root the legs into the mat. And again, just take the soft gaze just beyond the toes. Continue to stay with your breath. Take one more inhale here. Long exhale. Okay. Now, before we go into a forward fold, we call Paschimottanasana, 
I'd like you to bend your knees just a little bit. All right, and again, um, sit on those blankets, and this is gonna make it a lot easier to fold at the hips without creating a lot of issues uh, through the lower back. All right, so knees bent, sitting on that blanket, and then just come forward, and um, just letting the hands sort of walk their way along the legs as far as they want. But what you wanna do here is you wanna keep a nice, long spine and open heart. All right. Continue to come forward just a little bit more, taking the gaze sort of, um, sort of in between the knees and the feet. Hold out our breath here. And then engaging that inner core once again, slowly make your way all the way back up. Good. All right, let's now counter that pose uh, by going to bridge pose, all right? Now, come down onto your back, okay? And those heels you wanna bring uh, as close as you can to your, uh, your, your, your hips. And your feet are about hip width apart, they're parallel, yeah? The head is resting on your mat. The arms are at your sides. Okay. Then what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to um, root the backs of your arms as you uh, bend at the elbows and uh, the fingertips are pointing up to the sky and the palms are facing each other. Okay. What we're going to do, in addition to using the legs to lift the hips and ultimately open up the heart, we're also going to use the backs of the arms to lift. All right. So take an inhale. As you exhale, press the feet, press the elbows and backs of the arms into the earth, and then slowly lift those hips to inspire your uh, upper spine to open up your thoracic, using primarily your legs, all right, and a little bit with through the arms, and just continuing to keep the gaze straight up, straight up into the sky. Just take a few more breaths here. Keeping the knees about the same distance as the feet, yeah. And take one more breath here. Good, and as you exhale, slowly let your spine return, starting from the upper part of the spine, feeling the thoracic come down. Good, down and through the lower part of the spine, just up above the sacrum. And then lastly, in the sacrum. Good. And then let the arms just sort of rest here along the sides of the body again. And just pause here for a few breaths in your neutral position. Okay, let's go ahead and just move right into Shavasana from here. All right, so just lengthen your left leg, lengthen your right leg. Let everything be heavy. Let the palms face the sky. And begin to uh, use less and less of the mind to control the breath so that each breath begins to happen more and more on its own, okay? So we're letting go not only of the body parts, right? letting go of the thoughts, but we're also letting go of the breath and surrendering everything. Body's heavy. Feeling that beautiful embrace from Mother Earth below us. Trusting her.
slowly make our way back, starting with the breath first. Conscious breathing once again, mindfully bringing the inhales and the exhales into your body. Beginning to let that breath touch your fingers and your toes with some subtle movement. Then on up through the hands and the feet. And continue letting your breath touch more and more of the arms and the legs. And then gently bring your right leg, your right knee in towards your chest, give it a hug. Let your right uh, sole of the foot come down on the mat and do the same thing with your left knee. Just bring it up into your chest. And then bring both legs. Give yourself a big, give yourself a big hug. And then roll over onto either side and find that fetal position. Take your arm up over your head. Just let your head rest on your shoulder or your upper arm. And just continue to ease into the awake state once again. And then using your hand, make your way back up. All right. And either on a bolster or directly on that mat, whichever works for you best. <clears throat> Find that seated pose. And continue to be with your breath. Maybe reflecting back on your intentions. Bringing the hands to the heart. Wishing all sentient beings joy, happiness, and most important, freedom from suffering. Namaste.